Hi and welcome. I am 11 miles east of Grand Island, Nebraska and I finally figured out exactly what I want to do and where I want to go. First of course I'm going to hit Grand Island, get myself a little snack. I decided, I did some research last night and discovered that um, Nebraska Highway 2 is like uh, the Sand Hills, um, the Sand Hills Scenic Byway or something like that. Uh, carries me through the the plains. Um, anyway, very. I decided it's a it is a 272 mile drive. It is that's gonna that's great. Um, uh, anyway, it'll bring me out at I think close to South Dakota, which I wasn't planning on. But anyway, I looked online. There are some really interesting things along Nebraska too. Uh, something called the Car Hinge. Uh, there's of course wildlife there's hiking there's a lot a lot of interesting stuff and I've been wanting to get off of this uh, off the interstate now for since yesterday since the last couple of days I've been wanting to get off but yesterday I was gonna take uh, US Highway 6 and west and it just didn't really um, I got on it then it was late um, I actually left the the little place I stayed last night it was a Phillips 66 uh, gas station and truck stop uh, 24 hours left there just a few minutes ago and I really actually did really well got down here really quick anyway again Nebraska Highway 2 I've decided to take I guess I think it's the Sand Hills Byway anyway I'm here and I'm gonna start my day and I'm 11 miles away I'm gonna start my day and start taking some video pictures and I hope you uh, you know stay stay while I take my adventure. Okay, I just got off the interstate and I'm here headed west on Nebraska Highway 2. And I'm headed toward Grand Island. Thought I'd give you just a little nothing out here. Um, according to the internet, Nebraska 2 is going to take me through the Sand Hills or like what they call Sand Hills Byway or something like that through the plains. Um, it's a 272 mile drive. It's going to bring me up close, uh, bring me out at a place called Alliance, Nebraska and uh, be, um, I think, toward, um, oh gosh, what do you call it? Um, uh, up, up closer to South Dakota and that wasn't my intent I wasn't intending on being up uh, near South Dakota but this is just kind of how it's turning out I did map it or not map it but look at it and I think there's gonna be another highway that will take me towards North Dakota so I'm gonna be way 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 farther out than I intended I was intending on taking the interstate all the way back to Walcott Iowa to the Iowa 80 truck stop but I'm not sure that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not sure that's a trip, the route I'm going to take. I was also, uh, because I was going to take, um, uh, I think there's another route. I can't remember the name of it, but it, 63, U.S. Highway 63, and I was going to take that north into Ashland, Wisconsin, and come up through Wisconsin, Upper Peninsula of Michigan, but... Anyway, um, I'm, I, 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 I'm ultimately that is still going to be, I think, my very noisy out here. A lot of truckers out here. There is a ton of truckers out here and on this on I-80. Anyway, um, ultimately, I think that is going to be my ultimate destination. Probably back up uh, uh, to the Great Lakes. Um, if I take, if I come that close into South Dakota, come into North Dakota, I'll take U.S. Highway 2, and that will most definitely uh, take me to, uh, into Minnesota, Wisconsin, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. There is a lot to uh, see and everything in that area. I haven't totally decided what I'm going to do. I may, I may try, may drive the 272 miles and then take another route. Uh, back toward Walcott. Who knows? I don't know. Um, I haven't decided yet, but I definitely know I'm here on Nebraska 2 now, and I'm going to take this little, um, I'm going to gonna start my exploration. I am going to have to take a day somewhere, sometime a day, 
to uh, maybe try to get some tires for my car. I do know I need to do that. Anyway, I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Okay, I walked up here to get a, a tiny little bit more video. As you can see, I'm seven miles from Phillips, 11 miles from Grand Island. And then you can hear in the background, there are some dogs barking. Again, anyway, I'm headed, um, get about ready to get back in the car. Um, walk down here, and I guess they got it fenced in, and there's these two dogs. One is, I'll zoom in, one, you can see him, he's a white something, don't know. And then there's a little border collie down there, too. Well, I was going to try to get a little small video of uh, the little collie. Actually, I take that back. It wasn't a border collie. It's a little miniature collie. Beautiful, beautiful little dogs. We had one that was a mix when I was a kid. But I guess he took off, and this is just this guy right here. Okay, I'm standing out here on Nebraska Highway 2. I made a little pit stop at Walmart to get some tires. I knew I needed tires. Um, uh, when I got my uh, oil changed and the, all my maintenance done, they told me that they were starting to split, crack, you know, and I kind of just, well, I don't, I don't, I didn't ignore it. I knew I needed tires, but I was uh, anyway, plans have changed, you know, plans changed, and anyway, I was planning on getting the tires about now. I wasn't planning on driving this far on that set of tires, but I did. Anyway, they, car's feeling much better, riding better with the new tires. I ended up getting Douglas instead of the Uniroyal I, I like, but I didn't want to wait five days for Uniroyal to come in, so I'm happy. I like the tread. Anyway, I'm out here, and... Am I still recording? Oh, okay. Whoops, I made a mistake. Darn it. Okay, I kind of made a mistake on the last video. I thought it wasn't recording and I, anyway, I'll have to um I'll have to edit out the end of the last video. Anyway, I'll do that later when I get to my next stop. I did a little bit of look up last night just to see what, what's, you know, what, where maybe I can stop, you know, if there's any 24 hour gas stations, etc., etc. And I think there's going to be a few, I hope. Anyway, um, it's about 7 o'clock. I'm starting the trek later than I intended, but I am 75 miles from a place called Broken Bow, so I should, I should be able to reach that area town and, and anyway and I'm sure they'll have something anyway so I thought I'd stop right here and I took a picture of this old not sure what it is an old just an old building of some very noisy out here some old building I do, and anyway I got the tires at, at the Walmart in Grand Island Nebraska let's zoom in a little more there you go there we go okay let's zoom around let's pan out all the way over here. There's another old building over there I wanted to take a picture of maybe, but um, I kind of, I didn't, I decided against it. But when I got to this one, I decided, oh yes. And I'm traveling west, so the sun's gonna be kind of right in the lens. Anyway, I'm gonna get back on the road now. Here it is from a slightly uh, different vantage point. I was trying to get up on the side just a little bit. Now that's zoomed all the way down to 0.5. Yes, very beautiful, very beautiful area out here. Hi, I am here at the Grand Island Walmart. I am very tired, my eyes are burning. I went to a recreation area and I walked a lot. Anyway, that's going to be in the next video. Anyway, I'm here at the Walmart. I, I came here, got myself a couple of cups of yogurt, Greek yogurt, peach and strawberry. I'm going to eat with my peanut butter crackers, a peach, got myself a big peach. 
Um, I hope it's I hope it's ripe enough. Uh, ripe enough. Um, anyway, that said, um, I'm here at Walmart and I'm about ready to go to one of the truck stops and call it a night. Eat 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 something. Um, I just decided to eat uh, not much tonight. Maybe some crackers and and whatever a peach because I did pretty good today. I had a Subway. The Subway was kind of expensive, nine bucks for the sandwich, a breakfast sandwich. But, you know, I had all the vegetables, or most of the vegetables on it. Anyway, I'm here, so I'm getting ready to leave, go find a truck stop. I, there's not one very far. I think there's a pilot. There's a, I'm not sure about that one, but there's a TA. Um, I think it's brand new. I don't. I, I looked it up on Google Maps, and it's new because I there's no picture of it in Google Maps. Anyway, so I'm getting ready to just. I'm going to conclude this video now. Um, this video was uh, started out. Uh, I left uh, Milford, um, Nebraska, this morning. Didn't have to drive too far. It was actually 76 miles, but it didn't seem like it was that far. Um, got down here to Grand Island, got me some tire, got tires. I knew I was going to need them. I didn't want to take off on the 272 mile, you know, roughly a 280 mile trek, um, without getting the tires first. So I wanted to do that. And then it was about seven o'clock, went down to the wreck area. I was thinking about staying at the, there at the campground. Um, that's going to be later. Um. Hopefully, that, maybe tomorrow night I'll, I'll stay there. Anyway, for, for now, I'm going back to a truck stop, and I'm going to conclude this video. I hope everyone has a good week. week. It's Thursday. Good weekend. Good week. God bless. Peace.